Our topic is PlanShift and AutoCAD file format. As we all know, PlanShift software is able to read the standard file format of AutoCAD like DWG, DXF, and DWF. So, having a PlanShift will give you additional benefits. You don't need to have separately installed AutoCAD in your computer, DWG Reader, or DWF Reader. You don't need to install many software. Only keep one PlanShift software and can read all the file format of AutoCAD. But sometimes user face some difficulty with layers, with block, while uploading, speed, and other issues. So all these matters, questions, or doubts related to CAD and PlanShift, I try to cover the maximum thing in this video. So let's begin. To give you the example, I have few files. Let me just upload the file. So you can see here I have different formats, DWG, DWF, DXF. These are the three standard file format of AutoCAD. Now I am going to upload these three format. As you know, PlanShift can read these format. Okay, so next, next, finish. Okay, once the copy finish, we can see on the left side list of the file. So if it's DWG, DWF or DXF, the doubt is clear that PlanShift can read three format. We don't need to worry. Now, uh, let's see one by one how plants have read and how, what it really shows. So, it's a DWG file. First is model and rest all will be layout. So, if you have layout software will show you, you can see here. Now, I have only one layout. That's the one I can see here. First is model and second is layout. Now, I have DWF file and it's only a model. So, only one thing appears here, you can see. I have DXF format and first is model I have many things here first is model and second is layout so that's how plans to read the file so first doubt is clear now second is uh, what happened to color did you notice here by default in AutoCAD itself the file appear in a black background and there are colors on it what if you really want to see in the same manner? So no problem, by default software show you in this view, but we can change. So just click on settings, click on graphics, and there is one option show CAD drawing with black background. If you check this button, by default it's unchecked. If you check it, you will find out your CAD drawing is in black background. Not only this, but all the CAD file. You can see here, this is also converted. With black background and your original view is back so that's the second thing I hope it's clear now third is by default AutoCAD show you all the layers and block as per the original file but what if you, you don't want these layers this window or some text you don't want this maybe that's not under your scope so how to turn it off so you can see here there is one option called layers if you press this button, if you press this button, software will show you all the existing layers. And if I don't want to see the layers, I can hide all. I can show all. If I want to turn off the specific one, I can simply turn off from here. Did you notice the change here? I can turn off from here. I don't want to see it. I turn off all. If I want to see it, I can just show all. So that's how we can play. And if you want to change the color, maybe the wall color white, you don't like it. And you do want to change into red. Just press this button, color change. Or maybe we can change into gray color. It's totally up to you. So that's how you can deal with layers and block as well. If you want to search, you can type here simply wall. Software will directly show you, okay? So that was the third thing. Now we can deal with layers and block as well, okay? Now in fourth, I want to show you something, plus I will advise you, okay, maybe this is the drawing and I want to measure something. I want to measure maybe some areas or I want to count something. So let's just get an example. I click here count and I want to maybe want to count some door, window, column or anything. The thing is, when you click, wherever the item is, you can click in organized way. What I really want to show you here is 
See, there are already some colors. Plus, I counted something. Now, it's hard to identify. It's few. Later, there will be many. It's hard to identify what I have done and what's remaining. So, I have a suggestion now. If you want clear uh, view, so we can play here in setting. There is one option, show cat drawing with black background. If you want, just uncheck in graphics. If you uncheck, you will find out it's with white background. Now it's a little bit easy to see. Plus, in setting, there's one more option, convert color cat drawing into black and white. If I check this option, you will see all my colored cat drawing is converted into black and white. And it's easy for me to see what I have done and what's remaining. It will show you only the colors which you applied, not the original. So maybe it will help you, maybe it's not, but it's a suggestion. You can see it if it can cover your requirement. If you really want your original drawing back, then click on a setting. There is one option, show cat drawing with black background. You can check and don't convert, uncheck. Now you can have your original view back. Fine. Okay, have you ever noticed dealing the CAD file in Plan Swift is slow? Let me just show you the example. I'll upload the file now. It's a DWG. I just rename it as Many Plan. You will see it. Let me just upload quickly. It will take a time according to the size or the number of files and plan you have inside. It will take a time and then I will it will upload. Okay, now it's finished. It's on the left side, we can see it. If we press this button, there are some layout. First will be model. You see, it takes few seconds to open because there are so many drawing. So if there are many drawing, of course, it will take a time. You see here, I'm trying to zoom in. It takes time to zoom in and zoom out. So if that's your plan where you have many drawing in one model, I suggest you to avoid this. Of course it will be slow because you have so many plans and if you have the layout separately as you see here I have the layout it's fast here setting plan is separate I have the ground plan separate basement separate and typical floor separate so if that's your plan it's still better it's still better you can still deal here it's fast but if you have all the plan in one I'll suggest you to avoid it okay and I have another advice here. See, I'll minimize. In case if you have the option, as you notice, I have DWG drawing and PDF. I have both drawing and sometime engineer, they receive both, all the PDF format and all the DWG. So you can choose based on your requirement. If your concern is better quality, you want to depend on snap point, you need layers and block. So of course only AutoCAD file can cover the requirement. But if the quality is not your concern, your concern is speed. So I will suggest you to go for PDF. PDF is much faster than AutoCAD in PlanSwift. PlanSwift will not stop you, but if your concern is quality speed, go for PDF. You will see now. I have checked, next, finish. Within few seconds it will upload here. You can see here by the logo, it's a PDF file. Zoom in, zoom out, you can see here how fast it is. So why not to go for PDF? So it's totally up to the individual how they want to deal. Either the CAD file or the PDF file. I hope it's clear. Okay, one more thing. See, I have uploaded the heavy file here. And if you can see here, the size is almost same. These two files. Uh, I just renamed this drawing so we can identify easily size is almost same and if you want I can open this file just to show you it's the file is not corrupted now you can see here I have opened this file just to show you you can see here on uh, on the top the name is here this file is not corrupted it's just heavy but same time when I'm trying to upload here in plan shift, you will see plus click here plus button. Let's just add it. I will check this file. I just rename it. The file is fine. But whenever I'm trying to upload here, software will not upload. 
it takes time maybe it will give me the error here maybe it just hangs as you can see here but it will not upload the file why it's happening what is the reason behind sometimes software take hours here and nothing happens so i will suggest you not to waste the time here okay so what's the reason i'll explain you now as you notice it's finished and nothing happened on the left side file is not uploaded so what's the reason as i said now there could be many reasons one reason is maybe you're using the old version of plan so if i'm using right now 10.2 so this reason is not with me but maybe that's the reason in your case if you are using the old version maybe you're using 9 9.5 or 10.0 so the latest version of autocad file will not be supported here maybe this is the reason or second reason the file you have uploaded it's heavy so i will suggest you to save as and save into uh, older version maybe 10 maybe another format so once you save as it will allow you to open it so that's my suggestion or third is it's still it's not uploading so i'll suggest you the there are many plan i'll suggest you to divide the plan now it's autocad trick but i'll share it with you it will help you maybe in future so the command is w it's for write block you can type it completely or just w space or enter select the plan so you can select here few plan maybe two or it's better to go for one by one it's better it's more faster so i have selected only two plan to give you the example i have selected this plan now i can save this plan somewhere okay it should be in cad folder and i want to give a name as test press okay from here software will take time and make these two files as a separate new file you can see here on down it's saved now open the folder test file is created now let's just try to upload next now we will try to upload the file now i uploaded and i notice it's still not uploaded it's good now we can uh, explore more thing so if still that's the case i'll suggest you to open the same file and try to purge it maybe there are extra layers and block that create a conflict here so there is a command called pu purge and you can purge the extra layers and if that's not the case maybe you can try to save as into lower version i'll try to go for lower version 2007 just to give you the example and i'll just change a name test one save it's saved now let's just open in plan saved test one next next finish it's loading right now once it finish we will see the result on the left side so you can see here on the left side file is uploaded let me just click on it that's the result so we have the file it's faster we can read here but it takes time maybe it's not if if you don't have this much time to convert and then purge and save as i'll suggest you to go for pdf you can simply convert the cad file into pdf and better to go as pdf because pdf is much faster and uh, it's more suitable fine and if you don't know about pdf dealing i have already shown one video before because sometime in pdf error comes file is not able to upload in pdf or some error comes so i have already made a video if you haven't seen it yet just open my youtube channel by my name sadi chuhan and just go down scroll down and you will find out one video is here pdf to tiff in this uh, video small video i have explained all the things about pdf how to upload how to ignore the error how to get the better speed everything is mentioned here it may help you okay uh, one more suggestion in the beginning i have shown you you can change the color as you notice here this is the color drawing right now and if i don't want the color i can just uncheck from here and i can convert the drawing into black and white so i can see the colors uh, i can see the colors are gone and it's only in black and white 
I have a suggestion here. I notice sometimes people are uh, complaining about this thing or especially it's happening more in older version. What's the thing? Whenever they, they convert this file into black and white or they change some settings here, the file is tilt. The takeoffs are tilt. It's not aligned, not state. It's messed up. So why it happened? My suggestion is if you want to change the colors or you want to convert into black and white, whatever the settings you want to define, define it before you start the takeoff because it happens especially in the older version so you can ignore these things after the takeoff one more thing if you want better speed in plan shift in settings graphic there is one option automatically optimize the large black and white image so you can it's a far faster navigation it's recommended so i'll suggest you to check by default it's unchecked so i'll suggest you to keep it checked so for navigation, for selection, it will be much faster than uh, usual. So this is one more suggestion in AutoCAD file. So that's it for today. I hope you all learn and enjoy this video. I try my best to cover most of the path, but in case I skip something or you have a doubt or question, so feel free to drop a comment. I'll try my best to answer. And uh, if you really like the content, just show your support by subscribing the channel. Uh, it really motivates me to see the increasing number and in future I'll try my best to upload more new content and smart ideas about other software as well. So that's it. Thank you so much guys. Stay safe.